our personal relationship with God should grow in the midst of trials. They're going through earthquakes. They're going through difficult times. And he's saying, I want you to know my God. Where do we see Jesus use the phrase my God elsewhere? Remember the cross of Christ? My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? A personal relationship, and this is what we don't like. When we go through difficult times, our personal relationship with Jesus Christ grows. Because we depend upon him. We're like, Lord, I don't need you to just be God. I need you to be my God. I don't need you to just be the God over business and the economy. I need you to be the God over my business and be my God over my economy and all of that. I need you to not just be God over generations. I need help with my kids. And I want you, God, to be my God. Do you see it? It personalizes. And if you don't personalize your faith, you're not going to grow in your faith. It's got to be my God, my God, my God, my God. Not OMG. I'm talking about really saying my God, right? Not a little phrase. My God, I need you. And we need him. And we want him. And we need his help. And that's what the church of Philadelphia did. They said, we're small, but you're our God and we'll make it through earthquakes and we'll trust you as you open doors for us in a great way. And they get no negative comments from Jesus. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.